Okay, thank you for the time that you've given to me. So today we are going to present about uh, discovery-based learning. So first, I would like to introduce our group members. The first one is Kedi Santana Suwardana. The second one is Diana Ratnasari. And the third one is Putri Maharani Pratimi. But in this case, Diana will be um, the teacher in the simulation session, okay? So in this um, presentation, we are going to talk about discovery-based learning. And in this presentation also, we, um, we are going to talk about the specifically about the um, definition of this discovery-based learning, the characteristics, the techniques, advantage, and disadvantage. So the first one is um, discovery, uh, the definition of discovery-based learning. The uh, discovery inquiry, inquiry learning is a learning that focuses on um, the problem solving process so that students must explore um, various information in order to determine the concept mentally by following the teacher's instruction in the form of um, questions that leads to achievement of learning objects. Um, in discovery uh, inquiry learning, indicators roles include, include students' roles or to several phrases or, or syntax are included uh, into the broad stage of discovery uh, inquiry learning model. The first one is stimulation problem. The stimulation of uh, educators identity the available of the content from the various um, learning sources that in accordance with the material being studied and discussed and to be studied by students or formulated several questions related to the contents of and students uh, need to solving in their own problems at this stage. The second one is uh, identification. Uh, in this stage, um, students is allowed to identify the numerous difficulties that may exist in the material. Uh, in the material. The third one is uh, gathering information. In this stage, uh, students, students are allowed to explore and more broadly um, uh, the problem and uh, the problem that they have been created and based on their understanding of the context by collecting various um, relevant information by reading literature both online and offline. The fourth one is information outcomes. The information outcomes is educators instructs pupils to vary a uh, hypothesis of uh, or assertion that has been established and based on the result of processing existing data. And the last one is generalization. And based on the outcomes of verification and input um, from instructor and on and, and other students, pupils are from specific conclusion or generaliz generalization. And the next one is the characteristic of discovery-based learning. There are three uh, characteristic that we have find. Um, the first one is have minimal teacher guidance. In this learning model, students need to make their own way to problem solving. Um, the second one is fewer teacher explanation. So um, in this uh, in this state, teacher didn't have to explain as much as much as usual because students need to find their own way to um, uh, solving the problem. And the last one is solving problems with multiple solutions. Students need to search in which way or which method is suitable uh, to solving a problem by um, looking for another um, solution in a book or internet. The next one is multiple, multiple essential components will be explained by my friend Santana. Santana, time is yours. Okay, thank you for the time, Rima. And now in this time, I will explain about the multiple essential components. In discovery-based learning, there are multiple essential components. And the first is teacher guidance where the emphasis is on building upon students' reasoning and connecting to their experience. And the second one is classroom culture where there is a shared sense of purpose between teacher and student, where open-minded 
the needs and dialogue are encouraged. And the last is students are encouraged to ask question, inquiry, to explanation and collaborate with teacher and peers. Next. And the next, uh, I will explain about the teaching techniques of discovery-based learning. And the first is a psych interviews to such curiosity. Uh, in, in, in this technique, help students discover the amazing information they can gather just by talking with people. Uh, in uh, a psych in interview and have students write a summary of what they learn it and what surprised them and the advantage of learning information directly for search. And the last is help students go solo. In this technique, some of the best discovery learning projects are done solo and encourage them to use technology as part of their research and then help them come back together to see what everyone learned and what they discovered by themselves. And next, incorporate data or a best project. In this technique, assign data that is related to a topic and encourage students to investigate, ask questions, and from their own conclusions. And next is do a virtual dissection. In this technique, sometimes hand-on material are chosen to look at uh, or put case. And the next is encourage mistakes and productive struggle. Uh, in, this, in this technique, when students take control of their own learning, mistakes are ineffective fitable, but mistakes are part of discovery learning. Learning Students can invest, uh, uh, sorry, providing timely feedback, quickly correcting mistakes, and continuously encourage students to keep at it are critical to encourage students to push through difficult problems. Next slide. And the next material is the, the advantage and disadvantage of discovery-based learning. The first is the advantage. Uh, the students are designed to find their own science concept to be studied so that it is expected that from their own discovery of a concept by student, besides being is easy to understand and Remember, it can also foster student inter intrinsic motivation. And next is this advantage of discovery-based learning. This learning requires quite a lot of time because in the process, students are faced with problem, problem that must be solved by collecting data and information from various sources and conducting their own trials. If the concept discovery process is not guided or directed, uh, there will be cost and confusion over the concept being studied. Study. Okay, next. Okay, and the last is conclusion. Uh, discovery inquiry learning is a learning that focus on focus on the problem solving process. The characteristic of discovery based learning is a learning model are have minimal teacher guidance, fewer teacher explanation, memorizing, minimal repetition and solving problem with multiple solution. There are several, there are several advantage of this cooperative learning method such as able to develop mastery of skill to develop and advance by using the potential that exists in the student themselves. And the disadvantage of this uh, method is that our student must have the readiness, ability, and courage to know their surroundings better and 
if the class is too large, is too large, then this form will be less successful. Okay, that's all from me. I'm back to Rima. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Santana. Um, there are um, there are the presentation from our group, and um, I'm sorry if there are anything wrong that I have said. And have a nice day and stay healthy. Bye bye. Hello, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Miss. How are you today? I'm good, Miss. I'm good. Thank you for asking me back. So, before we start our lesson today, let's we pray together to make sure our learning will be run smoothly. Pray start. Pray finish. Okay, even this is, is online learning, I will make sure that you are in the comfortable stage. So if you have any stress in beside on you, uh, you can put it away. So make sure and then make sure your your state is comfortable. Uh, so, so you can learn in the comfortable situation. Okay, now, we will learn about announcements, but before that, I want to ask you guys, anyone absent today? No, no it's all present. No, okay, thank you. Very good. Okay, so what we learned last week, anyone remember what we learned last week? Me, me. Okay, Komala, what? Um, last week, we learned about uh, the definition about the nouns. Okay, good. So, what the definition of announcement? Um, announcement is uh, one of the short functional tags. Um, in English, the verb of announce had a meaning in the formal public declaration about a fact, occurrence, or intention. So, I think announcement is an official notification about something, whether written or spoken, which is presented. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, great. Today we will learn more about announcement. Okay, before that, I think it will be better if you know about the basic competence and the learning objective that you have to achieve. Okay, please, next slide. Okay, what's the basic competence that you have to uh, achieve? The first one is distinguishing social function, text structures, and linguistic elements of some special text in the form of announcement by giving and asking information related to school or workplace activities according to the context that they use. So, and then for the skill, uh, you have to choose that you can prepare special text in the form of announcements, oral and written, short and simple, taking into account social function text, structure, and linguistic elements correctly in the context. And later, you can be able to identify and explain social functions, text structures, and, uh, and linguistic elements in the announcement text. And you can make a written announcement about school activities by using social functions, text structures, and linguistic elements of the text in a good and correct writing. Okay, now I have a text announcement. You have to analyze it with your understanding about the announcement, what you have, what you are found in this uh, text announcement. Okay, I will give just, just five minutes, just based on your understanding. Okay, and you got it, everyone? Yes, miss, I got it. Yes, miss. Okay, very good. Now uh, let's start. Okay, Miss. Uh, okay, Santana, you want to share something about your analysis? Yes, Miss. Uh, thank you for the time. Uh, in my opinion, this announcement is intended for teachers and staff of SM SMKN to Tangerang for discussing in the teachers' room to discuss the national exam 
preparation on Thursday day 9 a.m. until 10 a.m. This announcement is made by the chairman of the national exam committee. That's all from me, Miss. Thank you. Okay. Now, after you hear your friend's explanation, anyone have a question about the announcement? Me, Miss. Okay, Cecilia, what's your question? So, my question is, uh, does the generic structure of the announcement consist of the purpose of uh, the announcement, the place and date or the event, uh, the content of the announcement and the announcer, and what tenses are used to make uh, the announcement text? So that's my question is. Okay, very good question. I don't will. I don't want to say that your statement is correct or not. So for answering your question, I have another example. Uh, next slide, please. Okay. Uh, please wrote, uh, analyze it with your group members according to what the statement before, what's your friend's statement before. Make sure your analysis, uh, answering these three questions, okay, you can, you can screenshot the screens. Uh, I will give you 10 minutes to discuss it, okay? You can, uh, for the text announcement, you can open the page 15 on your book or you can see later on the screen, as the description, what's the content of the announcement, what is the announcement for, and what's grammatical is used uh, and give an example. So give an example, it's mean like uh, the reason why you say that uh, that's kind of uh, grammatical used in the announcements. Okay, as, can you next the slide? Okay, here's the announcement that you have to analyze with your group. I will give you 10 minutes, so time uh, is start. Time's up, so now anyone who wanna be represent their group to present uh, the analysis or the result? Me means. Okay, Santana, go on. Okay, the analysis of the of this announcement is the purpose of the announcement to announce students that school will hold a trip to Golden Sands Beach and pledge or debt in Golden Sands Beach on 28th of August. And the content of the announcement is announce the, the activity trip and detail of the registration. And announcer is in Kasari as share person and the last uh, in the in the announcement is use future tenses uh that's all from me miss thank you okay what's your what's your reason why this uh this announcement use uh future tense uh because because i i found in the announcement is use will Okay, we also will that your your key why this is is future tense. Okay, very good. Now you have to uh, have been practice about uh, twice practice uh, actually, and then now uh, for make sure that your understanding is correct about the social function, grammatical, and linguistics elements in the announcement text. So. Please create your own announcement text by looking at the elements, elements you already understand before and read it. The time allotment uh, is 10 minutes again. So time is yours, everyone. But uh, if, do you get it what the task is? Yes, miss. Okay, very good. So now uh, let's work. Okay, time's up. So, who's gonna read uh, the the work? Who's gonna share the announcement text? Me, Miss. 
Okay, Cecilia, show. Do it. Okay, so my announcement text is to all students of grade 11, vocational high school, PGRE number one, Kota Agu. This is an important announcement for you who is following drama extracurricular. Please remember, we are going to exercise tomorrow morning to prepare the show in GSG Kota Agung. The day is Wednesday on August 12, 2014. Time is 4 p.m. Place at school's yard of Vocational High School, PGRE number one, Kota Agung. So please come before 4 p.m. And don't forget to bring your uniform and the makeup to complete the training. Head of Drama Extracurricular. Thank you. Okay, very good announcement here. Did you get the point about our meeting today? After you practice, after you create your announcement text, did you got what's the social functions, what's the grammatical use, and and you know how to make a announcement text? Yes. Okay, very good. So, next, please. Okay. I will give you some explanations to make your understanding uh, more deep about the social function, generic structure, and grammatical use in announcements. Okay, social function, the social function uh, of the announcement tag is to provide information to the public, okay, the crowd, the society. So you have you, you want to make uh, like something to say in the crowd or so the public, you can uh, make announcement tags. And then text structure uh, of the announcement text consists of attention gather an expression a sentence that aims to attract the reader's attention. Example, attention or uh, announce, announcement like that. And then a target, the purpose, who's the, the target of the announcement. And then information, what the, what the information that you have to, to share. And that announcement, who gives the announcement? So you have to make sure that uh, you are uh, know who's the announcer, announcer of your uh, announce, announcement has been read. And then the third, the last one is the language element of the announcement. Text usually use the future tense, like Santana uh, said before. Yeah, that's true. We use future tense. Okay, the next. Okay, everyone, uh, I will give you an uh, assignment before we end our meeting. You can find uh, in the your book, page 20, you can answer the questions in that page. So you can submit. We will discuss it next week, okay? Thank you for joining uh, today and stay healthy, stay safe. See you, everyone. Thank you, Miss. See you. Thank you.